So I'm um, consolidating plants on the nursery tables. We've already emptied um, one table and now um, the focus shifts to uh, friendly farmers and um, those folk growing at scale to support the poor. Um, for complicated reasons I uh, roundly suspect there's probably no nursery table anywhere in the temperate Pacific Northwest that has a more concentrated diversity of high performing open pollinated material on the tables. Um, largely due to the um, problematic dimensions of the marriage of capitalism and earth stewardship, the vast majority of vegetable crops, and for all I know, the rest too, are, um, are specifically bred, designed, genetically engineered from the ground up. This is a phenomenon that predates the advent of GMOs, though GMOs have massively accelerated the trend, are specifically designed from the ground up to be inherently unsustainable. They lack the capacity to reproduce themselves. They're specifically engineered that way. So one of the um, specific priorities of the visionary holistic plant breeding movement for some decades now has been to develop the material that is not only capable of reproducing itself, but that also performs on a standard equivalent to that of farm productive varieties. And as that's essentially what we have on these tables. We have varieties that we have, that are mostly um, developed and certainly uh, the great majority have been stewarded in the Pacific Northwest um, and are reproducible, open, pollida open pollinated and highly um, productive. A big focus on the leaf brassicas, the collards and the kales. I've probably got, or I should say we've probably got about um, a dozen, I don't know, uh, um, separate accessions in there. Some of them are diversity populations. This one here is, you can see maybe from the <laughs> differences in uh, leaf shape and so forth that that's um, a diversity population. That's Russo-Siberian or um, uh, Brassica napus, and this is a European kale diversity population that is uh, Brassica oraceae. These uh, uh, two populations come out of the heartland of the independent plant breeding community in the Pacific Northwest, the Russo Siberian from Wild Garden Seed and for Lomoth, and um, the Kale Coalition from uh, Adaptive Seed in Brownsville. And the kales and the collards go up to about here, and then we move into the um, rutabagas, uh, fall and overwintering broccolis, fall and overwintering cabbages, fall and overwintering cauliflowers, and then into the beets and some of the fussier, uh, to degree more slowing, more slowly growing um, crop types. Uh, so that's where things are now. I'm looking to place uh, these in quantity with uh, friends who have plenty of ground to get them into right now.